Hi, recently I purchased a 3D pen and it came with these samples of filaments, 3D filaments. These filaments are good for doing little projects, little fix, little repair, but it's not enough to make uh, or do a big project. So I was looking to getting more of these and I realized it's quite expensive if you get the original one. So I found a solution actually and save a lot of money. I'm going to talk about it right now. Okay, so these sample filament is not enough, so you need to get more. So what I ended up doing was that I got a 3D filaments from um, uh, ANET. This is actually for the 3D printer, uh, but I realized it actually works because it's the uh, PLA filament, just like this one here, and is exact thick. I tried it out and it worked pretty good. Actually, it works really well. I'm going to show you an example after this video in a minute. I'll show you how I repair stuff and how I make little things. And in the future, I'm going to show you more videos on how to use this 3D filament printer. It only costs 20 bucks for one kilogram. That's really cheap compared to getting, you know, the original samples that they come with. They charge you like arms and legs for that. So this is what I did actually. As you can see, I put um, it on my broken uh, tripod stand and there is the uh, disc that contains the 3D filaments. It's like one kilogram worth. And so there is the uh, filaments. All I have to do is just feed that into the 3D pen, right? And then it works. You just have to take out as many filament as you want, the length of it that you think you need, and you, you just uh, uh, put through the holes and then it feeds it in, and then you start you know, designing your stuff or repairing stuff that you want. I find that the 3D pen is great for um, repairing a lot of items that's broken and I'll show you in the future some of the things that I do with it. I don't use it for art as much because I find that the art um, part is uh, not as nice as the actual 3D printer and also is more work right, to do. But for repairing, this is amazing stuff, especially when you create a mesh, 3D mesh uh, wrapped around some uh, broken uh, devices and all that. It works really, really well. All right, let me show you an example right now. Okay, so I'm going to take more, I don't know how much I need, I'm going to take a few lengths of probably 2-3 meters worth of the 3D filament. Alright, I'm going to feed through one of the holes here. There we go, feed through the hole, and I'm going to feed through my 3D pen. There we go. Okay, so let's start fixing it. So what we want to do is we'll create a, a line. You have to wrap around something like so. Basically, what you have to do is create a loop, almost like elastic band around it like this. Okay, because for some reason it does not um, adhere to the actual plastic that was here before. So think of it as an elastic band, you're wrapping around it. And I'm going to have to do a few things here. Okay, figure eight. Okay, once you do that, then you can establish a link. There we go. It's almost like um, you're trying to create a, a string, you see, like that. Okay, a string and a wire, forming a wire, so that's what I'm doing right now. That's how I repair the scissors. Okay, it's almost like a wire. Think of it as elastic band or plastic wire. And then um, the only good thing about this, of course, is that when it's hardened, it's pretty uh, solid. Okay, so we're going to have to wrap around. Okay, just think of it as a wire, plastic wire, and you want to shape it like a handle. 
so long. You just keep adding. Because once these uh, wire, this filament hardened, it becomes a handle, right? So that's the, the key to this. Let's pause for a minute here. Okay, so there it is. You can see it's coming along. Although we need to um, somehow make sure these are tightened together as one piece. So I'm gonna have to wrap around it. Okay, let's do that. Go back and forth, back and forth. So because they're the same type of material, they was and uh, uh, just melting together and then eventually they harden they form a very nice plastic make sure it doesn't adhere to the other um, elements that's on the on the uh, on the scissors so that's why I have to do it this way to wrap around it see like this and um, ensure that it's actually tightened sure. There we go. We're good. Look at that, huh? There is my scissors, the handle. It works, see? Uh, let's see how strong it is. It's pretty strong, actually. Yeah, okay, so I built a, a framework. There we go. <clears throat> Around it. Just make sure here. There we go. Now you can even heat it up with a um, low torch or a low heater, low heater gun or something like that, and to make it even more um, solid. But I wanted um, so I can be able to hold it with my thumb here like that. Right, so it's pretty good now. It's pretty strong actually. Look at that, huh? Perfect, it worked. Don't need to throw these scissors away. They work perfectly now. See that? Wow. Yeah, there it is. So uh, that's why I find the uh, 3D um, pen can be used for fixing and repairing a lot of stuff. Okay, you just have to know um, how to work around it. So it created like a framework, and that's it. That's what I did, and it works pretty well. I mean, it's not uh, it's ugly. It doesn't look really good, but Hey, it's functional, right? That's the key here. You want it to be functional. You don't want to waste anything. Everything can be reused or repurposed, actually. For this one, we just reuse it, just repair it, and then reuse it again. And it's a very good scissors. Awesome. Next time, actually, I'm going to show you how to build or repair more things with this 3D pen. And look at that. A lot of filaments you can use. Yeah. Cool. Educate2.com